हेलो माय फैमिली मेंबर्स इट मेक्स मी वेरी हैप्पी दैट सो मेनी मेंबर्स ऑफ आवर फैमिली आर सक्सेडिंग इन द एक्सेंचर कॉग्निटिव बैंड टेक्निकल राउंड आई वुड बी मोर हैप्पी एट इफ यू वर सक्सेड इन द इंटरव्यू राउंड एज वेल सो टुडे आई हैव इंक्लूडेड द टॉप डीएसए इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस एज यू मे ऑलरेडी बी अवेयर दैट इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एनी टेक इंटरव्यू सो लेट्स लुक एट द क्वेरीज बिफोर यू प्रोसीड टू द क्वेश्चंस आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज वॉच द प्रीवियस इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस वीडियो दैट वॉज ऑन Uh, java sql and python so watch that then come to watch this video okay let's go to the next video what is data structure so a data structure is a way of organizing data so that the data can be used efficiently uh, example stack queue tree hashes linked list etc right and the next question is what are linear and non linear data structures a data structure is said to be linear if its elements form a sequence of a linear list examples array linked list stacks and queues and a data a data structure is said to be a uh, non linear if the traversal of nodes is non linear in nature example graph and trees right and the next question is what are the various operations that can be performed on different data structures so we can do several uh, operations like insertion deletion traversal searching sorting right so you have to give a little explanation of them right so insertion uh, add a new data item in a data item in the given collection of data items right and uh, what is deletion deletion is the is to delete an existing data item from the given collection of data items and to what is traversal accessing each data item exactly once so that it can be processed and searching it is to found uh, find out the location of the item right uh, location of data item right uh and what is sorting it is uh, it is a process of arranging the data items in some order right uh, like ascending order or descending order and the next question is how is an array different from linked list this is very important question right so the answer will be the size of the arrays is fixed and linked list are dynamic in size it is flexible right and inserting and deleting a new element in an array of elements is very expensive whereas both insertion and deletion can easily be done in linked list and random access is not allowed on linked list right and extra memory space for a pointer is required with each element of the linked list so what is stack and where it can be used stack is a linear data structure in which the order leave ho last in first out or fillo first in last out for accessing elements are followed basic operations of stacks are push pop etc right what are the applications uh, it helps us to convert infix to postfix and it helps to reverse a string right and it helps to implement i mean it helps to check the balanced parenthesis uh, it is balanced or not right so the next question is what is queue how it is different from the stack and how is it implemented this is also a very important question actually all of the questions are very important questions and frequently asked in the interview right so give important to them before you answer the question i would request you to please subscribe this channel to get such latest update and such content right okay the queue is a linear data structure that follows the order uh, fifo right first in first out to access elements right mainly uh, operations like nq dq front rear are operated here right and the difference between stacks and queues is in removing right in a stack we remove the item the most recently added in a queue we remove the item the least recently added both queues and stacks can be implemented using arrays and linked list right so the next question is what are infix prefix postfix notations so i am answering 
so what is infix notation at first let's see operators are written in between their operands this will be infix actually this is the usual way we write any expression like i write i wrote the first case first expression and what is prefix uh, in this case actually we write operands operators before the operands right and prefix notation is also known as police notation right i i have written an example you can see that and what is postfix the postfix notation is also known as reverse police notation in this case we write the operators after the operands right so uh, here as i have given an example look at there okay the next question is what is linked list and what are its types a linked list is a linear data structure like arrays where each element is a separate object each element that is node of a list is comprised of two items that is the data and a reference to the next node right so what are the types of it singly linked list doubly linked list circular linked list right so you have to give some uh, explanation about all of them so what is singly linked list in this type of linked list every node stores addresses or reference of the next node in the list and the last node has uh, next addresses or reference of as null right so what is the doubly linked list in this case uh, the, there are two reference associated with each node right one of the reference points to the next node and one of the previous node right so and the what is the circular linked list circular linked list is a linked list where all the nodes are connected to uh, to form a circle right there is no null at the end a circular linked list can be a singly circular linked list or a doubly circular linked list as well right so the next question is what is data structures are used for bfs so the next question is which data structures are used for bfs and dfs of a graph actually q is used for bfs that is breadth first search and dfs that is depth for search can also be implemented using recursion right okay the next question is how to implement a stack using q stack can be implemented using two queues right method one that is by making push operations costly and the method two is by making pop operation costly right and the next question is how to implement a queue using a stack this is a quick question for you please give me the answer in the comment box right so i hope this video was informative and if you think this video was helpful to you then please subscribe this channel and watch the previous videos on interview the links are given in the description box so thank you for today's session